continuing with Justin's projections, remember we've already answered how long will my money last, and next we're gonna take a look at how do we answer how much can I spend so I won't run out of money. And this is an easy question to answer because SNAP will do this automatically for you using the feature called Sustainable Scenario. But first what we'd like to do is copy this scenario. So this is our scenario one. If I'd like to rename it, maybe my baseline, uh, 48,000 of spending and save that. So now we can make a copy and compare back. So using that, this menu item here, copy scenario, this makes an exact copy of the version that I was just on and I'm now on the copied version. And you can see the scenario one baseline spending copy is the name. So let's rename that to scenario two max spending. and we'll save that and I can make changes now and then compare back to the original. So instead of trying to click on this 48,000 and, and reducing it somewhat because we know that Justin was running out of money at age 95, so what we can do is go up to the recommendations button, select that and ask SNAP to calculate for us what would be the sustainable spending assuming that Justin retires at 65. Click calculate and it's going to tell us the consistent value of the after-tax spending every single year that will deplete the capital assets by the end of the scenario. Then I can apply and run that spending. So if Justin spent consistently 45672 indexed with inflation, so the nominal dollar column shows me that value. As I scroll down, there's no longer any pink, and he's depleted his RSP and TFSA by that final year. If I look over at the top here, this estate before tax. I can click any given year to see a summary of that year's estate and compare with the other scenarios that I have. So this is my, my scenario that I'm working with right now. I could choose to compare and this is in the year 2056. What is the final estate between the two scenarios? If I scroll down to the bottom, I could click on the final year to see age 100 summary or I can use the icon in the estate before tax, that's going to show me the final year summary. So in the max spending version, he's depleted his capital assets and he has not incurred any debt like he did in the original where he was spending 48000 a year. So he's spending less and if, if it makes sense, it might, might be easiest if we actually rename the scenario and we enter in what that spending was. So the max spending is about 45672 now, if you wish, you could make you could round that to an even forty-five thousand five hundred or or something like that, just by clicking on it, re-entering the information, and running the scenario. All right, so now we have two two scenarios. But what if Justin doesn't want to spend less, and you want to show him another option? So let's go back to our original, and from here we could make multiple copies. So again, copy scenario, and maybe this will be scenario three, and what other option would we like to show him? So we, we discussed that he might be able to save a bit more. So let's call this additional savings and 48K spending. And in this version, once his mortgage is paid off, let's just go ahead and save that mortgage payment into the non-registered account. So I'll copy that down. Might also wanna change the asset allocation once I've started to invest that money. So we'll do another 4060 asset allocation here and run the scenario. He saved some additional money, which can be used in retirement, and then the TFSA is withdrawn, and then finally the RIF. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we no longer have any pink years. And if I look at my estate before tax summary, he has capital assets left at the end of the projections. And comparing back to my original where he didn't make those additional savings, he'd had to incur debt. So this is obviously a better scenario. Whether or not he could save that money is a question for him. Uh, another item that sometimes people would like to compare is the total taxes paid over the lifetime. So this total tax column also has an icon at the top and this will give you a summary. So the total taxes paid in this projection was 611,000. 
and then we could compare. There may be a few other options that Justin would like to see and we can make changes under the scenario setup tab for most of these. Uh, under the general tab we could change his retirement age that's one option. Under the government benefits we can update to start CPP and OAS at, at 70 years old instead or under the assets tab here we could specify a future sale age for the house. So for example if he wanted to sell the house at age 85 and we go back to the planning page this is going to show us automatically that money will be reinvested for us. So we scroll down to age 85 the real asset is is sold and the money from the sale is going to the TFSA and the non-registered account and so that at the end of the projections he still has quite a bit of money left in his estate. This is a lot of information on the planning page so the next video we're going to tackle how can you show this information to your client in a meaningful way. We have charts and we have reports so please join me there and we'll continue.